So we're in Olive's room in the Red Stables in St. Anne's Park. So the Santa Experience is actually run by the cafe. Um, so just a couple of members of our staff actually do it. And this year is the first year we've taken on transition year students as volunteers. Uh, so we're really trying to up the amount that we donate to the charity. Yeah, so I've been working here at Olive's Room for the last 10 years nearly now, and this is the highlight of my year every year. If we get kids in from all different ages, it's truly like, it's amazing really. Um, in the last years, we've raised nearly 45,000 euros, and this year we're hoping to raise upwards of 20,000 by the end of it. Um, for the adults that come, it's low stress, low key, and of course low plastic as things are going at the moment. And for the kids, it's a really enjoyable experience as well. Uh, this Santa experience wouldn't be possible without our photographer, Michelle LaRue. She comes every year, takes all the pictures, and donates all of her profits to the charity as well. Um, so yeah, it's just a truly amazing experience, really. Hi, I'm Millie Alcock, and I'm down here at the Laurel Inn uh, Santa Experience. Um, so we do this every year in Ada Laurel Inn. We raise a good bit of money every year for the kids. Um, it's a lovely experience because it really gets everyone into the Christmas spirit. The kids are so excited about it. So since 2011, uh, Laurel Inn has provided hospice care for over 600 children, uh, children and their families. Um, these children have uh, life-altering conditions and um, they help the families with financial care if they need it, if they need emotional care, especially because their lives have been altered from these children's conditions. Um, and yeah, it's my favourite time of the year to do this because kids are so happy and it's such a good cause as well and it brings everyone together. So this Santa experience will finish this Sunday, the 17th of December and it will be our second weekend doing it. So we're completely booked out now but we will take walk-ins happily like there's no real stopping people donating and coming along we'll fit people in where we can and the more the merrier really. <laughs>